What is up everybody and welcome back to another Among Us video and in this video I'll be telling you about a lobby in Among Us that you should never enter. This lobby has been hacked in Among Us by one of the most powerful hackers known in the game. You may know this hacker as Eris Loris, who has been spotted in several players lobbies a few months ago. But if you have been playing recently, and have been keeping up with the channel, you may know him as one of his most recent names, which is Sairi Sorrel. And I have some terrible news for all of you. Sairi Sorrel is back, and he is now taking over entire lobbies in Among Us. I actually managed to find one of these hack lobbies, and you will not believe what happened next, so you won't want to miss this. And before we get any further into this video, 70% of you have not hit that that subscribe button which means that you're missing out on Among Us Darkest Secrets so why not solve that issue by hitting the subscribe button with the bell icon turned on and if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like down below but now let's begin with today's story video so something strange happened to me while I was playing Among Us. It was very early in the morning. I normally stay up some nights playing some Among Us, since I have nothing else to do. I also wanted to practice my skills on completing my task a lot quicker, but that soon changed. When I was looking for a lobby to join, I noticed that there was a lobby that looked very different than the others. Normally, a lot of people don't recommend that you play Among Us during early hours, and now I can see why. The lobby appeared to be hacked, which is a rumor that I've been hearing recently from other players. But I got really curious, and I wanted to see for myself. So I joined the hack lobby, and when I entered, everyone's color was red. I was really confused. In Among Us, it only allows you to use one color per crewmate. But in this case, everyone in the lobby was red. That is until everyone's name turned into Chari, which is my username. So looks like the rumors are true. Joining this hack lobby will lead to many unexpected events. It was now the beginning of the match and I was a crewmate. And when I spawned in, I could see all of the Charis. I'm not gonna lie to you, it was very strange. Just imagine being in a lobby where everyone has your username and your color. As I was looking around, just staring at these other players that obviously look like me, I began to wonder if these players were even real. They weren't talking back in the dropship, so are these just bots that were created by Sairi Sorrel? And speaking about Sairi Sorrel, I didn't see him anywhere, so I went to go look for him. He has to be hiding somewhere. But as I was looking inside of the rooms, there were a few players following me, and they weren't doing tasks, they were just watching. Normally whenever I play Among Us, it's very rare for a player to follow me, but in this case I have two, and how else would they know that I was the real Chari. As I was leaving Reactor, I saw several more of my clones appear. So I quickly left and I made my way over to Electrical and even more clones appeared. And that is when I saw a player in a location that we don't have access to. He was walking through walls. And as I was staring at this mysterious player, I had a few clones right next to me. They were all just watching. At this point, I was getting really scared. I didn't know what to expect. I'm clearly being watched by someone, but why? I tried to stay as calm as possible. I need to complete my task because I see that the task bar is going up. So these players are clearly doing something to benefit the ship. As I was trying to do a task in electrical, I saw a player vent inside and another one walked in. And that is when the player started to walk through walls, which I'm assuming was the same player that I saw earlier. He left electrical and appeared once again. I need to get out of here. There's clearly a bunch of other Chari, so why are they going after me? How do they know that I'm the real one? As I was trying to complete my task in shields, I got chased by a player, and they chased me all the way to cafeteria, where I saw the vent open. The lights across the entire ship turned off, and I made my way over to electrical. The lights were then fixed, and I could see a bunch of Charis running together. I was really curious to see if these players were even real, since they were always together for some reason. So I went over to press the button, and it wasn't letting me. Every single Chari that I saw in the dropship was now in the cafeteria. The doors were also closed, so none of us were able to escape. That is until one of the Chari started to vent in front of everyone, and he eliminated one of them. 
and the body was quickly reported. Now it's a moment of truth to see if these players were even real. I quickly typed in the chat why is everyone named Chari? And the players were freaking out. And it looks like they're just as confused as me. They clearly don't know what is going on either. So how did we all end up like this? I told them you guys stole my name. And one of the players suggested that I should stand on top of the vent to show that I'm the real Chari. We all skipped and nobody was ejected. I quickly made my way over to the vent, but then every single one of my clones showed up as well. Why are they all following me? I took that as an opportunity to escape, but as I was trying to leave they called a meeting. And I told them that I tried standing on the vent and that I'm the real Chari. I then told all of them how about we do our task. That way we have a chance at winning. We all skipped and nobody was ejected. But now show that there were zero imposters and we were stuck on an empty black screen. After a few minutes had passed, I could slowly see my game appear on my screen. That was weird. The lights were off, so I was unable to see any players. Where did everybody go? I checked the table to the left side of the cafeteria to look for the computer that you can usually find on free play. And I wasn't on free play, this was a match. I even checked navigation to look for a dummy, and there was no one. Why am I alone in the ship? I quickly went to check admin, and the dummy was nowhere to be found. I then checked security and reactor, and there was no one. It was just me alone in this map. I then decided to go fix the lights. That would give me more vision to spot anyone in the ship. I then fixed the lights and I started to look everywhere. And the ship was still empty. Why am I alone? As I was checking reactor the lights went off. But this time I could see a bunch of shadows around me. I couldn't tell what they were. But could these be the crewmates that I saw earlier? Were they all just ghosts? When I was inside of a ghost ship. I then made my way back to electrical to turn on the lights. But when I was at the entrance, I could see the shadows once again. But this time I could hear some heavy breathing. I was really scared so I quickly went to go fix the lights. I need to see what is around me. But as I was trying to fix the lights, I began to lag. And my screen went completely black. And when I was allowed to see, I could see my dead body. How was I killed if I was alone in the game? I then heard an evil <laughs> laugh and I slowly began to lose my vision. If you would like me to discover the dark secret behind these hacked lobbies and the reasoning behind Sairi Soro's return, let's see if we can get this video to 30,000 likes. I do also want to give a massive shout out to Kitty King for helping me produce this video. If you would like to help out a smaller creator, make sure to go check out his channel and subscribe to him. And if you want to see more Among Us story videos, make sure that you hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on and check out these other among us story videos that i found on my channel